There it grows. Great spin inside, reverse. There it grows. Rose against Nance Jr. Great spin inside, reverse. Glasser, go. Great spin inside, reverse. Glasser, go. We're going to take a look at a spin to a step through. Now what we're really focusing on right now is just our ability to get to our end location on our move and then have a step through for the finish. Now right now I have multiple mats set up on the floor, not because I expect you to train with these five different mats, but because I want you to understand the visual aid of the actual space of the floor that I'm covering. So when you work on something like this, make sure that you're really playing with that realistic space that you might see in an actual game. So right now I'm gonna start off by simply bounding and landing in my drop position. Now I wanna be able to attack right away with an inside step, and then I'm gonna be able to cover space off of that inside step to get right into a power stop. And then from this location, now I'm gonna actually get into the spin step through, which is our focus. And so from this, I wanna have the ability to really get to the exact space in this play that would be intended. What I'm trying to get you to understand is you don't necessarily wanna just train with random space. So when you set up any type of situation for yourself in which you're working on maybe an end move, such as a spin to a step through, give yourself some kind of parameters to follow where it's not just free space over and over and over again. And so right now, if I'm landing in my power stop and I'm spinning to this location, I wanna be able to get, especially in live play, right to the location of the floor that I intended to. Now, as I planted into that inside outside, which would complete my spin, now I have to understand that my pivot foot is gonna be my inside foot, and now I can step through across my body to cover the exact same space that I'm trying to cover. Now when you're going fast motion, you'll be able to really experience this. If you were setting it up and you have the mats available for yourself, these are the two most important mats because you can focus on getting to the location of the floor you're intending to, and then you're covering that angle in the exact space you're intending in order to get to that finish. So I want you to spend some time really working on your spin to a step through, but just simply keep in mind of where you're trying to get on the floor and have some kind of way to hold yourself accountable, which in our case, these footwork mats do a tremendous job of pinpointing space so I can work on accountability and angles. Hey guys, this is Michael Lancaster with IPT. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, turn on post notifications so you always get notified whenever we post a new video. And of course, if you wanna check out other videos we've done, you can always find this one here or this one there. Either way, make sure you're staying up to date with what we're doing here on our YouTube channel because we have new content coming every single week.